Oh God, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> Hi baby, I can't believe our day is finally here. Even though we both waited many years for this day, finding you made it worth the wait. James, it's our wedding day. We finally made it, baby, and I can't wait to marry you today. As a little girl, I've always dreamed about this moment and wondered who the man would be that I would meet at the altar. God has surpassed all my wildest expectations when you walked into my life. My heart is so full, and I can't wait to finally call you my husband. Mr. and Mrs. James Morrow! Emily, you always wanted to find your person, someone who valued family, friends, and the important things in life like you do. And you've done it. To quote your favorite show, you found your lobster. In July of 2020, you met James. Despite some difficult relationships in the past, you persevered. And just look at where you are today. And who is sitting right next to you Today, we officially welcome you into our family, and we could not be more proud to call you son. I'll always remember the moment you first told me about him. We were sitting by the lake in Indiana, and I could tell that there was something different about this one. It was the way you spoke about him, the big smile on your face, you were almost giddy and the excitement in your voice. Of course, in true Maher family fashion, we quickly confirmed he does like sports, check, and he plays golf, check. Thank goodness crisis averted. <laughs> However, the most important ingredient about you is how you love our God. My only ask now is that you please take care of my baby girl. To my Emily, on November 20th, 1989, our whole world changed when God brought you into this world. You're stunning. Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> and as I stand here today and look at you tonight and how radiant you are, I still cannot believe that I'm your dad. I love you so much. I love you. This day is everything you want it to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's everything. Good. I know that to you, this is the biggest day of our lives. However, I find myself looking forward to our future. I can't wait to start a family with you. And I, can't. And I can already picture you being an amazing mother and wife. The past has been great, and the future is even brighter, and I can't wait to call you my wife today, and every day moving forward, I love you, James. That's not a letter, I don't know what is. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what the future holds for us. I promise you my everlasting devotion, my respect, and my unconditional love for a lifetime. I can't wait to share all of life's adventures with you. I love you. Your almost wife, Emily. I love you too. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm excited. Okay. You should be. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. I, James. I, James. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Emily. Take you, Emily. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Emily. I, Emily. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, James. Thank you, James. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a pledge and token. As a pledge and token. Of my love and faithfulness. Of my love and faithfulness. 
Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a pledge and token. As a pledge and token. Of my love and faithfulness. Of my love and faithfulness. For those of you who do know James also, you know that he's not afraid to let you know exactly what he's thinking, good or bad. And that's how when James started dating Emily, I knew something was a little bit different. I'm not, I'm not hearing him complain. I'm not. <laughs> he said, what is going on here? But as time went on, and I got to spend more time with these guys together, the puzzle pieces kind of started to come together for me, and, and it made sense. It's very clear that the love that you guys have for each other uh, is genuine, even when you're on your worst behavior. I have seen her look at you uh, with love in her eyes. Um, and so that's how that I know it's real. For as much as Emily and James have consented together in holy marriage and have witnessed the same before God and these witnesses, I pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holly asked me, what's your favorite thing about Emily? And I, and I thought about it for a second and I was struggling to kind of come up with what my favorite thing about Emily was. And I was like, am I a horrible brother? Like I can't even think of one thing. You know, I, and I thought about like the buzzwords, like she's caring, yeah, like she always looked out for me and she, she always wanted me to be happy and checked in on me. Uh, but is, is that my favorite thing about her too? And, and I thought, and, and really I came to the realization that my favorite thing about Emily is just that she's, she's the best all around sister that you could possibly have. You know, a lot of siblings I feel like don't get the chance to have that relationship growing up where they feel like their, their best friend is, is down the hallway uh, in the same house. I am very pleased to present to you Mr. and Mrs. James Murphy. I loved seeing how James supported Emily through nursing school. He always knew the right things to help keep her calm. And Emily returns the favor when she supports James each football season when the Cowboys and Aggies ultimately fall short of the hype. Sorry, I had to. To Emily and James, we wish you nothing but joy and happiness together. We love you both more than you will ever know. Cheers. Cheers to you. I mean, cheers to, to all the years ahead of, of happiness, of love. And I can't wait for the memories that we, that we make in the years to come. Cheers to the, to the writing room.